Hey you to family I hope you all are doing well welcome back to our daily hacking news series hit the like button to give us shout out to our team so before we starting we are having one question for you in case if there will be any cyber war between the US and Russia then what do you think who will be going to win so share your answer in the comment section and we'll give us shout out in the next video now let's get right into the video so first news is related to CISA so the CISA has added nine more security flaws to its list of active exploit bugs including a vmware privilege exclusion flaw and a google chrome zero day that could be used for remote code execution the vm vulnerability which is called cbe 2022-22960 was patched in april 6th and it allows attackers to escalate privilege to root on vulnerable server due to improper permission and support script this is huge those who have not updated please go ahead with update now next news related to github so github released today that the attackers is using a stolen zero auth user token which is issued to heroku and travis ci to download the data from the private repository so since the campaign was first spotted in april 12 2022 the threat actors have been already access and stolen data from dozens of active organization using heroku and travis ci maintain zero auth app including npm now the next news related to t-mobile so an ongoing phishing campaign target t-mobile customers with malicious link using unblockable text sent via sms group messages so the new jersey cyber security and communication integration cell njccic issued a warning after multiple customers having field report of being targeted by this new phishing campaign Now the last news related to Ukraine. So the Ukraine Computer Emergency Response Team (CERT) UA uncovers new phishing campaign aimed at infecting system of Ukrainian government agency with the ISAID ID malware. So ISAID ID ba- banking trojan first appears in the threat landscape in 2017 and it has capability similar to other financial threat like Gozi, Geos and Dudex. So expert at IBM Exposed that first analyze it notice that the threat does not borrow code from the other banking malware but it implements compatible capabilities including launching man in the browser attack and intercepting and stealing financial information from the victim so there's a lot of hacking update coming from all over the world so what do you think this thing uh, this hacking updates are coming because of russia or ukraine conflict or there is something another region so you may comment your points as well So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have comment or any feedback, you may subscribe because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So at last, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day, Jai Hind.